Our topic for today is all about media languages. Media language is the way in which the meaning of a media text is conveyed to the audience. One of the ways media language works is to convey meaning through signs and symbols suggested by the way a scene is set up and filmed. For film and television, media language includes the way meaning comes across through the pictures and through the words or dialogue. Seeing the characters in a moving image text allows meaning to come across as nonverbal communication. This includes the gestures, facial expressions, clothing and props in a film, as well as where the characters are placed in the frame. Media language includes the way the camera sees the scene through shot size and camera angle. It is also possible under the heading of media language to analyze the way the actors interpret the script. And there is also what we call the codes. Media codes generally have an agreed meaning or connotations to their audience. There are three types of media codes. These are symbolic codes, written codes, and technical codes. But in today's video, we are only focused on technical codes. Technical codes are ways in which equipment is used to tell the story. These are codes that are specific to a media form and do not live outside of them. For instance, our understanding of different camera shots and their connotations make sense when we look in films and photographs, but mean nothing to us outside of those forms. There are also different types of camera shots. These are extreme long shot, long shot, medium long shot, full shot, medium close shot, close up shot, and extreme close up shot. So the first one is the extreme long shot. Extreme long shot is also called as extreme wide shot. It is used to show the subject from a distance or the area in which the scene is taking place. Just like what we have here as an example, it shows the subject from a distance in which the scene is taking place. The next one is the long shot. The long shot is also called a wide shot or full shot and it's used to show the relationship between characters and their environment. Since long shots incorporate so much background in a scene, they're commonly used to establish setting, mood, and character's relationship to their physical space. What is medium long shot? The medium long shot frames a subject from the knees up. It is intermediary between the long shot and the medium shot. It slightly favors the background over the subjects and foreground. Media long shots help an audience feel like they're actually there without also making them feel uncomfortably close to the action. What is full shot? Full shot frames the character from head to toes with the subject roughly filling the frame. The emphasis tends to be more on action and movement rather than the character's emotional state. What is medium close-up shot? A medium close-up shot is a shot that frames the subject from just above their head down to about midway on their torso. The idea of medium close-up shot is that you can still easily register the actor's emotion and facial expressions while also retaining some of the background. On the other hand, we also have the close-up shot. Close-ups draw the audience's attention to the main characters and communicate the importance of their presence, reactions, and or behavior. They can also draw attention to specific objects that add context, drive the narrative, and help the audience better understand the story, to relate the story back to the viewers. And we also have the extreme close-up shot. An extreme close-up shot frames a subject very closely, 
often so much so that the outer portions of the subject are cut off by the edges of the frames. On an actor, this is commonly used to show specific portions of the body, like the face or hip, but it can go closer to show only an actor's mouth or even a single eye, and that is what we call the extreme close-up shot. In point of view, we have the establishing shot, point of view shot, over the shoulder shot, reaction shot, insert shot, and reverse angle shot. And we also have the handheld camera shot. Establishing shot. An establishing shot in filmmaking and television production setup or establishes the context for a scene by showing the relationship between its important figures and objects. It is generally a long or extreme long shot at the beginning of a scene indicating where, and sometimes when, the remainder of the scenes take place. A point of view shot, also known as POV shot, first person shot or subjective camera, it's a short film scene that shows what a character or the subject is looking at or they represented through the camera. It is usually established by being positioned between a shot of a character looking at something and a shot showing the character's reaction. The over-the-shoulder shot or OST is a camera angle used in film and television where the camera is placed above the back of the shoulder and head of a subject. This shot is most commonly used to present conversational back and forth between two subjects. With a camera placed behind one character, the shot then frames the sequence from the perspective of that character. This inclusion of the back of the shoulder allows audiences to understand the spatial relationships between two subjects, while still being able to capture a closer shot of each subject's facial expression. In film and television, the filmmaker or cinematographer's choice of an OTS shot's camera height, the use of focus and lenses, affect the way audiences interpret subjects and their relationships to other and space. Okay, so we have reaction shot. Uh, this refers to when an action takes place on screen and then cuts to a separate shot that allows the viewer to see the reaction to this action from other players in the scene and then insert shot um, this is any shot that's sole purpose is to focus the viewers attention to a specific detail without a scene these shots are often placed from the point of view of a character suggesting that we see what the character sees during a moment of concentration and then of course there's also reverse angle shot a shot taken from an angle roughly 180 degrees opposite of the previous shot. And then the last one, handheld camera shot, is a shot taken with the camera being supported only by the operator's hands and shoulders. In camera angles, we have the aerial shot, high angle shot, low angle shot, and eye level shot. The camera angle marks the specific location at which the movie camera or a video camera is placed to take a shot. A scene may be shot from several camera angles simultaneously. This will give a different experience and sometimes emotion. The different camera angles will have different effects on the viewer and how they perceive the scene that is shot. There are few different routes that a camera operator could take to achieve this effect. Furthermore, in camera movements, we have the pawn shot, field shot, tracking shot, and zoom. So first we have pan shot. Uh, this is when the camera 
is on a fixed head or uh, this is the type of technique where you follow the moving subject and you can shoot this with uh, the use of a slower shutter speed in order for you to create a feeling of speed or action and then tilt shot uh, this one uses a cinematographic technique called tilting in which the camera stays fixed but rotates up and down on a vertical plane and then we have tracking shot so this one is typically any shot that has physically movement or uh, the camera is moving through the scene for an extended amount of time and then we have zoom shot wherein the focal length of the camera lens is um, adjusted to give the illusion of moving closer or further away from the subject. And that's all. Thank you for listening and thank you for today.